in Musi's career with SSG 30 seconds away. They need to find one person. That's it. He'll head in towards Archives and get caught. The hammer heads into orbit, but it's home once again. Hey guys, I'm here with Troy, Canadian, after winning the Six Invitational 2020. Uh, congrats on being this year's champion, but you know what, you've actually won before, so does it feel different winning the Six Invitational a second time? Um, I mean, it felt great the first time. <laughs> I think it definitely feels different. I think the main reason is like proving something to myself. Um, I had had like a bunch of crazy runs in vinyls where I couldn't win them and just proving myself that I'm not done. I, I still have what it takes. Um, it really meant a lot to me. So they definitely felt a lot different proving proving to myself that I can do it and also just proving a lot and a, like a lot of people wrong. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, I love how you call those people out. You're calling the people out right now that I'm proving you wrong. Of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, let's talk about your opponent in the grand finals because NIP had a crazy run. They had to go through lower to face you. You didn't even play them at all before the finals, right, in this tournament. So what did you think about your opponents and were you surprised by their early aggression? They took the first two maps from you guys. Yeah, um, I mean, we were surprised that we, like, we knew they were a really good team. They didn't play like quite as we expected. Honestly, they played like a lot slower and more structured than we expected, I'd say. Um, we like kept losing a lot of uh, picks and like just we couldn't trade out and we just kept losing a lot of bodies early on, um, just because like they would they would surround us. They honestly it felt like we were playing against a team kind of like us where we isolate players and take them out one at a time, and it felt a lot like that. Um, so it, it kind of caught us off guard. I think one of the big things as well though is that we definitely started off slow. I mean, not to take anything away from them, they did play absolutely amazing, but. I do think that we definitely weren't in our element at first. I think not until like maybe the second half of Clubhouse, even the last two attack rounds on Clubhouse, I wouldn't even say we're in our element. The second half of Clubhouse, then we really started to get into our element. And Bank, we played, we played our standard Siege. Like I was saying it to our team the whole map. I was saying like, this is SSG Siege. Like we are playing our game. You guys definitely showed up in that second half. I was so worried for you guys for that first half. Um, you know, everything turned in Clubhouse, but before that, I know as a player you have to keep calm, but was there ever a moment you felt, oh crap, like this is getting close? Um, I mean, yes, it like crossed my mind, but it was never like I felt out of it. Okay. It was just more like the thought crossed my mind. It was like, well, fuck, we're in a bad spot. Sorry, pardon my language. Um, we're in a bad spot, but it, like our, our whole team knows like we're capable of anything. I think also like when you, when you have the next map in mind, like you can do anything. I think the only time that it really got scary was when we started off poorly on Clubhouse. Because, like, once we lost the first two maps, we knew that we could win the next two maps. Clubhouse is our best map. We knew we could win it. Bank was the last map. We knew they were not that good at it. And it is a very strong map for us. Um, so we were confident that we could win those last two maps. When we started off poorly on Clubhouse, though, then it felt, then it started to go like, well, shit. Like, maybe, maybe we just aren't showing up. And then we started to pick it up and started to pick it up. And then towards the end of the club, as we were playing our game, and then by the time we were going into bank, I had no doubt in my mind that we were going to play our game and take that home. Let's show a little respect to NIP in the sense that, you know, Vila was a surprise. I think everyone was kind of surprised. Like, do you think they kept that as a secret strat? Was that a purposeful thing? I, I don't think so. I think they played really well, but I don't think it was like a hidden map for them. They don't typically play it that much, and I genuinely believe that they still weren't planning on playing it. We picked it because it appeared to be a weak map for them. And honestly, they, they just outplayed us. That was it. Let's talk about this double elimination format because this was new and just introduced for this Invitational. Do you like the format and do you feel like that one map advantage for the winner from uh, upper bracket is a good advantage? Um, I mean, I definitely think it's kind of necessary. Um, I definitely, I definitely would have probably like in the back of my head, no matter what, if we were to lose that series, I would have been salty in the back of my head to know that like, we hadn't lost a match before that, and they had. And the fact that like they were allowed, they had the possibility to like, they lose, they had the possibility to lose once and still win, whereas we didn't because that would have been our only loss. So I, I think, I think it's it's kind of only fair. Um, I was a little indifferent on it at first. Also, I'm incredibly biased because we did, I guess we did technically just win a series because of it. But um, 
Yeah. So, all right, so to wrap it all up, obviously you're playing on you know home country. The fans were insane. So tell me and you know to everyone who's watching what it, what this moment means for you and to have their support. Uh, it means so much. I, I said it on stage in the interview. Like we, every map, every round, no matter how far behind we were, they were still chanting our names so loud. And like like I said, like I've been out, like I've been down in series like that before. Like at Paris, it was this, it kind of looked the same way, and like we didn't have people just like constantly chanting our names, like they would do it no matter what, and like it just, I it definitely helps you believe in yourself for sure, yeah. because you know that all these crazy people out there still believe in you somehow no matter what you're showing, like even if we believe in ourselves regardless, like the fact that they do on top of it, like it shows like we like we've shown what we are capable of and that they believe in it. All right, well, Canadian, congratulations on an amazing tournament run. Wait, is anyone recording? No, right now. Can we get that iconic Canadian woo to finally end this interview? Of course. Yeah!